Speaking at the joint conference with NATO Chief Jens Stoltenberg on Thursday, Trump acknowledged uncertainty regarding a planned meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. We are continuing to negotiate in terms of location. The location is to uh, where to meet, how to meet, rooms, everything else. And they've been negotiating like nothing happened. Uh, but if you read the newspapers, maybe it won't happen. Uh, I can't tell you yet. I will tell you very shortly. North Korean senior officials have rebuked Trump's aide John Bolton for suggesting that Libya could serve as a model for persuading North Korea to give up its nuclear weapons program. Libya's leader Muammar Gaddafi voluntarily surrendered his country's chemical and nuclear weapons program after the U.S.-led invasion of Iraq. Trump said that deal did not include keeping Gaddafi in power. This would be with Kim Jong-un, something where he'd be there, he'd be in his country, he'd be running his country. His country would be very rich. His people are tremendously industrious. Gaddafi was killed by U.S.-backed rebel forces in 2011. Trump warned there will be consequences if North Korea doesn't stop its nuclear program. But if we make a deal... I think Kim Jong-un is going to be very, very happy. Last week, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un had another meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping ahead of the planned summit with Trump. China is North Korea's closest ally, but it is not clear how much influence it has on its young leader. There has been a big difference uh, since they had the second meeting with President Xi. Uh, with that being said, my attitude is whatever happens, happens. Either way, we're going to be in great shape. Stoltenberg said the current uncertainty about the talks shows why it is important to maintain political and economic pressure on North Korea until there is real progress on denuclearization. I believe that will be a great challenge. And, uh, and there are uncertainties, as I say, when we look into the way forward. But we uh, support the efforts and we strongly believe that North Korea should seize this historic opportunity to find a peaceful solution to the conflict on the Korean Peninsula. The last denuclearization talks with North Korea ended in 2008 after Pyongyang rejected a proposed verification plan, which included visits to undeclared facilities and collecting samples for testing. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.